Alright everyone, welcome back to Car Project Central. So last episode you might have seen that the Alpha 147 GTA had its muffler off. We were going to restore the muffler, uh, repaint it, rust proof it, all of that. Uh, and while we were having the muffler off, I decided that I really wanted to hear the car without a muffler, um, just so that I can hear what the engine sounds like. Unfortunately, we idled the car in the garage for about 10 seconds, and the car just completely shut down, the engine just completely stopped, uh, and we had all these error messages come up on the dash. Um, some of the error messages were mobilizer failure, uh, VDC system failure, uh, what you can see on the screen here. Um, and then the same messages were happening while I was trying to start the car again. Uh, a bit of research online revealed that we have the dreaded ECU failure. Um, now this is really, really common across all 147 GTAs and 156 GTAs uh, because of this ECU mounting position. Uh, the ECU itself is actually from Bosch, so it's actually quite a good ECU. Um, but unfortunately the mounting position is not really ideal because it's mounted right on top of the engine uh, where there's a lot of heat coming from the catalytic converters when you stop the car um, and also there's quite a lot of vibration happening as well and I think it's the combination of those two um, that really causes some issues on the ECU. So this started a bit of a witch hunt for the issue with the ECU and everyone online was saying that if we're able to unplug the throttle and the engine idles with the throttle unplugged then it's definitely an ECU problem. Next thing we're going to try is to start the car with the throttle body disconnected. Um, apparently the car should idle uh, even if the ECU is broken um, and apparently that's one way to diagnose an ECU failure. Uh, so the throttle body is just over here. We've taken the um, intake hose off just so that you can see that a little bit better and there's the plug right there. Right so I've unplugged the throttle body cable um, it was actually a little bit tricky, you've got to remove this cover and then you need to press in one of these tabs uh, sorry, both of these tabs and um, top and bottom and it should come out um, and we'll give it a go and see what happens Right, so we were able to diagnose that the issue is an ECU problem. Uh, it seems like this capacitor is the one that is causing the issue most of the time if you read some of the threads online. Um, now what's interesting is that this capacitor is actually uh, controlling or uh, doing something with the throttle and that's why when you unplug the throttle uh, the car starts and the ECU seems to be fine um, because it no longer has to go through that particular connection. Um, and it seems to be a combination of the throttle requiring a lot of power or a lot of amps to run um, and also the heat and the vibration um, because these, uh, th this particular PCB uh, or this particular ECU does not have any solder joints as far as we can tell it's all glued on by conductive glue so if you have a lot of vibration and you add a lot of heat um, that usually means that um, there's components that will basically just shake off and lose its connection. So essentially you just have to um, resolder a brand new capacitor. Uh, because you're going to be um, putting in the capacitor again anyway, you might as well buy a brand new capacitor just in case your capacitor um, is, is broken or is bad. We were able to find a replacement capacitor for $5 online. So it's a really cheap part. I would thoroughly recommend that you um, get a brand new capacitor. So I'll paste the link below in the description. Uh, luckily we were able to get George to help us to fix it. Um, he's actually had a bit of experience with PCB uh, manufacturing. So he was able to see exactly what the issue was. He was able to solder the new capacitor onto the PCB uh, and then also test to see whether or not that connection was successful. So we were really really lucky to be able to get his help on this project. Okay, so this is genuinely the first time that I'm starting it up after the ECU fix. So, let's see. Everything looks okay. So we 
we have a check engine light on. Um, that's probably due to the fact that I unplugged the throttle. Uh, uh, the, plug, the throttle's plugged in right now, but I unplugged the throttle to diagnose um, the ECU. Um, so that's probably why the monitor control system has a failure. Um, so we just need to clear the codes and then try it again. Uh, let's just try the throttle. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yep, yep. Okay, well that is awesome news. That That is just amazing. So I think it's working. Looks like it's working. Fingers crossed it stays working because uh, a new ECU was going to set us back 1,500 pounds, 1,600 pounds, something like that. Um, so this is this is really awesome news. Um, I'm just going to let the coolant um, go through the system because that's what we were doing before the ECU um, packed out. Uh, we were trying to uh, flush the coolant, change the coolant, uh, make sure the coolant's ready to go.